Okay, so you just installed us to member framework. What now? Okay, here's a quick start. Go to the journal options. Here, security encryption key. Click auto generate. That's good for security. Uh, now, if you're going to allow free registrations, you have to enable them here. Otherwise, only paying members will be able to register. Um, and then we need a, a membership options page which will uh, let the restrictions work. And I'll explain a little bit more in a second. Uh, I already have a page created for that, so I chose it from the list of pages that exist in this installation, and then click Save All Changes. Okay. So we now have to protect a page for the example. So we go to Pages, and we'll do it with a test page. And I will require a level zero or higher in order to open this page. Now, level zero is the one that free users get. So this means that people that are not logged in will not be allowed to open that page, only logged in users. So we click update. And let's try to view it from a window where I'm not logged in. See? As to remember, it didn't let me open the test page. It sent me to the membership options page, which is the page that I chose for that setting. And it's where you will tell the user whatever message he needs to know because he couldn't access the page he was trying to open or get the file he was trying to download protected by as to member. So here in this case, since it's a free reg registration, you can say, oops, sorry, that page you were trying to view is only for logged in user so please log into your existing account or if you don't have an account yet go ahead and free register for free and you can give them the link to the login and the registration page and then they will be able to open that page so that's a very 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 basic use of this plugin of course you can protect this at level one and then you will have to they will have to purchase the access because that's not a free level so for that, you would go to the PayPal options where you would configure the PayPal standard integration, which is the one that is to remember free uh, integrates with. And you would configure the settings in this panel, the ones in this panel and the ones in this panel, and then save all changes. And then you can create a button to sell that access. I have this warning now because I didn't enter any settings for the PayPal options, but you wouldn't get this if you complete the configuration. So I'm going to sell the level one access. I'm going to charge them $10 uh, every month. And I create the, the button and I copy the shortcode for the button. And then I go to the membership options page, uh, which is where I tell them what they need to do in order to have the access. Uh, and you can say, uh, oops, sorry, you need to purchase access to view that page. So the way this page will look now is whatever you want to make it, but it will include the button that you're generating with that short code so that they can pay for the access. So if they were not logged in, after the payment, they will be taken to registration. And if they were logged in, then their existing account will be upgraded to level one. Uh, and then they will be able to open that page that you protected at level one. That's a very basic uh, use. It's enough to get you started using this plugin. It has a lot of settings, but don't get overwhelmed. Take them one at a time. There are many other videos explaining how it works, and there's the forums, and there's the knowledge base. You'll figure it out. Plus, it has a lot of documentation and a nice community. Uh, just take it one step at a time. Now that you have a, a quick start, play with those settings, uh, get familiar with those, uh, and then you start exploring new things. And I hope that makes things easier for you.